Six. Our goal is to provide auditory training to people who have hearing loss. And auditory training is teaching people how to use, to the optimal extent, their remaining hearing. People need to be trained because persons with hearing loss have a hard time discriminating speech in particular. It sounds very muffled and distorted. And hearing aids often make sounds louder for you, but they don't necessarily make the sounds clearer. So you need to learn how to interpret this distorted auditory signal. We have designed a computer-based training program for people who have hearing loss. They come to us, and for about an hour or two hours each session, they sit before a computer monitor and get computerized auditory training. And some of the features are that we've incorporated principles of cognitive psychology and second language learning into what traditionally has been auditory training. From cognitive psychology, we bring in learning theory. And uh, for example, it, it, we have a lot of question-answer kinds of activities in our training as opposed to more didactic instruction. And learning theory has shown us this is a lot more effective way to teach people. Uh, from second language learning, we bring the principle of using multiple talkers. In traditional auditory training, a person with hearing loss would be trained by a clinician who had perfectly good speech and would have him or her listen over and over. And unfortunately, you, you don't encounter many cl clinicians in everyday listening. Uh, instead, what we're doing is we're using multiple talkers. And this is where you practice listening to a, a variety of talkers with variety of diction and articulation. And the notion is that your learning is more likely to carry over to everyday listening. They also learn to listen in noisy environments, which is a common complaint of people who have hearing loss. Three Triage. Our training program is different from any other training program that has come before it. Um, not only do we use multiple talkers yeah. and do we use principles of learning theory, but we also teach people how to comprehend discourse. And discourse is connected speech. And during everyday talking, uh, you don't listen to people say sounds and words like sh, sh or mama, papa. And that's what traditionally auditory training would teach you. Uh, we do use some of that in our training, but we also have passages. So you'll listen to passages and learn to pick out the key ideas. And if you think about it, that's what you do during everyday listening. You listen to people tell narratives, and you try to get the gist or the general idea of what they're saying.